Okay, these background images are pretty humongous. I think they're like 10 megs, I didn't realize it. So I'm gonna reduce the size of it. I'm gonna use a tool called Image Magic, where on the Mac, I'm gonna install it with Homebrew. So after you install it, after you install Homebrew, you should be able to install Image Magic with Brew Install Image Magic. You know, if you're on Windows, you can use WSS, WSL, uh, that's what I use all the time. Or if you're on Linux, you can also just use um, Image Magic. You can just install it with the package manager. This process did take uh, quite a bit of time uh, for me. I think it took several minutes. After you install Image Magic, you could go to the Image Magic page, and there's a wide range of commands associated with Image Magic. We're just going to use the command called Mogrify in this tutorial, and all it does is it resizes an image in place. So instead of creating a new file with something maybe like convert, you would just change the size of the existing file. If you have any problems with the installation of Homebrew, uh, you can inspect the, there's a little script that's actually downloading an installation shell script from GitHub. The script should install brew in opt slash homebrew slash bin. And this opt slash homebrew slash bin should be automatically added into your path. On the Mac, it adds it into the .z profile. Uh, at the top, there, there's going to be something to uh, evaluate the homebrew path. The Mac uses Z shell instead of bash by default. And there's two files that are automatically run when you access the command line. The first one is dot, uh, .z profile. And that is when you log in. The other one is whenever you launch a terminal session that's a non-login, non it's going to run the .zshrc. Okay, I don't really know how to use image magic that well, but I will give it a shot here. Mogrify, I'll put the quality to 80, resize one, zero, two, four, start up, PNG, and see what happens. Okay. Oh, appears to be a lot smaller, but maybe about one tenth. Oh, that worked pretty well. And I think I'm going to reduce it down even more. See how it goes. live with it. OK, 
Okay, so right now I have the background images at still pretty big. So if you're coming over the web, uh, it might be a bit of a problem. I've been playing around with Margrify, and I think I can actually um, maybe fix this a bit. So resize, we'll keep it at 1024, and we'll set the quality to, let's say, maybe 40. But there's a new flag format, WebP, which I think has better uh, quality. I spelled Margrify wrong. Okay. And you can see that the WebP one is significantly smaller, right? So it went from 1.1 meg to 58. K and if we look at all the web web P ones, uh, we can assess the quality, see whether it's good enough for us. Yeah, it's probably gonna be okay, I think, for the background, right? So this is all the web P versions of it. In the main.dart file, we're loading all the PNG files. So let's load the WebP and we'll see if our game still works here. So it's looking like it's working and the resolution does look pretty reasonable. So I'm going to keep it at the WebP and We'll delete the PNG. So the PNG ones are, they're almost a meg each, right? So we'll do remove star.png and make sure that there's no spaces here or you're gonna like wipe out your entire directory. Okay, so if we do ls-l again, we can see that the WebP ones are considerably smaller. We could even reduce the size down further. I think it's good enough for now. And make sure our game still works. All right. We are off and running. She's going to have a grand adventure with Arinda and Nakoa. See you soon.